So today we are going to make an agarose gel. And agarose gels are used to visualize and separate DNA in laboratory experiments. So they're sort of a day-to-day -day tool um, method that we, we use in labs as researchers. So agarose is a um, natural product of seaweed and uh, it's basically just this white powder that we can weigh out and then dissolve in some liquid. So normally we make 1% gels. 1% um, means we use, for example, 50 uh, milliliters of uh, salt solution in water, which we call buffer, um, and 0.5 grams of agarose. We just put them together into something like a flask could be any other um, vessel. Give it a little swirl and just put it on a hot plate to dissolve. And now we wait for uh, the sort of cloudy um, solution to become clear and once it's clear we can pour the gel and then it will solidify. So now you can see that our gel is nice and boiling and it's um, all clear, all see-through, there's um, no uh, little fragments uh, floating about, So, which basically means that now we can pour the gel. Um, and this is a gel tank. Um, here it is. Uh, it's very quite a simple contraption. There's uh, this, The main tank is the big one, that's where uh, the uh, agarose gel electrophoresis will be performed. Here's the tank uh, where we pour the gel. These are just to, to keep the agarose uh, solution in there. And these are called combs. And they make little wells in the gel so we can actually put our DNA in there. So basically I can carefully pour the uh, agarose solution in there. And now all we do is just wait for it to solidify. Now that the gel is set, um, as you can see here, I can pull out the stoppers. You can see that it's a nice sort of gelatinous solid. And I can also pull out the comb. And you can probably see here that there are these little wells in the gel, and that's where I'm going to be putting the DNA. So before I do that, I need to fill up the tank the buffer. Um, and this is important because uh, the salts in the buffer will allow the uh, current uh, from this power pack to, um, to go through. Yes. Now that's filled up pretty much where we want it. Um, and these are the samples that we have here. Um, the first thing I want is the DNA ladder, which is here. Um, in When you run agarose gels, um, different gels, you run different uh, amounts of DNA. In this one we'll just put in 10 microliters, so a very small amount of each of the sample. So the first sample is the DNA ladder, and the DNA ladder is simply a mixture of, of um, DNA fragments of different sizes, uh, known sizes, so it acts like a ruler that we can um, then use to measure um, our unknown samples from. So that's just gone in there. And now we'll just do the same for all the samples in a row. So now that the gel has been filled with DNA, I want to close the lid here and set the voltage and then I can also set the time so we can set this for example for 20 minutes. And run the gel and as you can see um, bubbles are forming uh, where the electrodes are, so that basically means that the tank is uh, properly set and that the gel will run. 
So our tournaments are up and uh, we can then open up the tank and as you can see here, if I'll just bring that up to you, um, the die front of the DNA samples has moved almost, I would say, three quarters of the way um, to, the, to the end of the gel, which is good. But this isn't DNA, this is just a dye which, will, which lets us actually uh, put the DNA in the gel, uh, just to visualize it. So what we need to do now is to stain the DNA molecules. So we've taken the gel out and uh, I'm pouring a dye over the gel, um, which will bind to the DNA molecules themselves and uh, hopefully in a few minutes let us visualize uh, the, the DNA. After we've given about five minutes for the DNA to stain, we rinse it off a few times just with water and we leave it again for about 20 minutes to destain. Um, and that will allow the, um, the DNA molecules to actually be visualized. And as you can see here, that's exactly what's happened. So here's a typical uh, stained DNA gel. You can see the discrete fragments um, and that's what DNA electrophoresis allows you to visualize.